before Christ, in before I really understood what it means to walk with Christ, I was trapped in a cycle of guilt. I was captive to my striving. The word total is commonly used to describe cars after a serious accident, when the insurance company determines that the car is damaged beyond repair. This is the condition that I found myself in, going into my sophomore year of college. However, I didn't feel this way about my life from the beginning, and I certainly didn't recognize it. I grew up with no real spiritual background to speak of, and although I learned about the Bible and Jesus when I attended Catholic school, it was never really something I believed in or had a desire to pursue. I was lost and alone. I was total. Before Christ, I was broken and lost. But I wandered. Uh, I was just really left in a place where I was empty and confused. It was like somebody took me off a shelf, threw me down, shattered me against the ground, and expected me to be able to pick up the pieces and be okay. I basically purposeless. Full of loneliness and isolation. I started to seek joy and satisfaction in things like friends, partying, and sports. However, I was plagued by guilt about my actions. Just unsure and confused, arrogant. My life before Christ was very withdrawn. For my whole life, I've been searching. One word I would say that describes my life before knowing Jesus would be the word longing. A good church kid. Um, I went through a period of um, just going through the motions of spiritual emptiness, of not really living a life of purpose. Um. Unfulfilled and empty. I always felt meaningless. I always grew up feeling inadequate. The word empty describes my life before knowing Christ because I was always looking for what was next in life. Describing a minha vida antes e depois de ter encontrado Cristo são religiosidade e liberdade. When I look back on my life, I just see that I was never truly happy. I was consumed with being a perfectionist. I was living a cheap, superficial life. I was, I was depressed, I was in antidepressants. I didn't ever think about suicide because I felt like that was giving up and giving in. But my mindset was, hey, if a car hits me, there's nothing I can do about that. I don't mind. So it was not a really healthy mindset. My life has been one characterized by weariness, as I've tried to make myself into an image of what I think I ought to be, and have failed again and again.